So I've been thinking about whether or not to discuss politics, especially with emotions running really high after the election, but then I realized it's actually my responsibility to share facts with my friends and family and clients so they can make important financial decisions like buying a home or selling stock based on data and not emotions. So here's a quick look at what typically happens after an election and how the recent results might impact the market in the coming months. So what happens right after an election? Markets often experience a brief pause or uncertainty. This is especially common in November, right after the election. However, the uncertainty usually doesn't last long. In fact, home sales often pick up in December. Next is market fluctuations. Yes, there's going to be short-term ups and downs, but the real estate market is influenced by many factors beyond politics. Things like local market conditions, the economy, demographic trends also play a really big role. Long-term trends usually continue regardless of short-term political changes. Next is home prices during election years. Over the past 40 years, home prices have increased an average of 4.8% during election years. And in seven out of the last eight presidential elections, home prices rose the following year. Next is interest rates. After an election, interest rates are gonna change based on the new administration's policies, particularly around inflation. If interest rates go down, we might see more real estate activity and more people could refinance or buy homes. Next is economic policies and real estate. Economic policies like deregulation or tax cuts can boost economic growth, meaning more money for people to spend, which could increase demand for homes like we saw after the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act in 2017. For example, in Silicon Valley, home values went up by 18% over just two years from April 2016 to April 2017 after tax cuts were passed in Donald Trump's presidency when he was elected then. Next is regional differences. Some areas might see more interest based on local policy changes or economic initiatives. Changes in taxes or support for certain industries could make some places more attractive than others. And with Proposition 33 not passing, we might see continued rent increases and more investor activity. My advice. Don't make decisions based only on election results. Focus on your personal financial situation and your long-term goals. Stay informed about what's happening in your local market and any policy changes that could affect real estate. Consider working with a knowledgeable real estate professional who can give you insights onto how exactly these trends might impact you. So the big picture, elections can affect market sentiment. But things like supply and demand, economic conditions, and local trends have a much bigger impact on the real estate market over time. As always, I'm here to help you navigate these changes and make sure that you're making informed decisions no matter what is going on in the world. And if you haven't attended one yet, we have an upcoming buyers and sellers seminar coming up next week right here in my Cupertino office. The link for registration is below.